So, I'm a pretty huge Clipper fan, and I got the opportunity to go to a game in Vegas with my family. VIP style, of course. And I was really excited because this was the best chance I had to bumping into a player and hopefully getting an autograph. But I really only saw players from the other team and that really didn't interest me much. So it was the night of the game and I was super hyped. Mostly because I haven't gone to a game in a really long time. So I got my favorite Clipper shirt and we went down to the elevator to go to the arena. Then Jamal Crawford walked into the elevator. One of my favorite Clippers on the team. He saw me and smiled. And for some reason, I was just in shock. I didn't know what to do. I thought about asking for a picture or something, but then I realized he was about to play in a game and is probably trying to focus. But then again, when would I ever have the chance like this again? So after much debate, I opted to stand there like a starstruck idiot. But then I saw something that seemed to fascinate me. I saw that he was listening to music on a big tablet and texting on an old flip phone. This was very puzzling to me. I'm pretty sure science has combined these two things already, and it looked like it was a struggle to hold both at the same time. And, I mean, he has a ton of money. Why wouldn't he get a smartphone or something? This vexing display kept me distracted for the whole elevator ride down. And before I knew it, he was gone. And that was the time I met Jamal Crawford. And that was the second time I met Manny Pacquiao.